Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would show you guys how I make my sticker sheets. I feel like it took me a little bit to figure out how to do it on a colored background so that it looked nice, so I thought I'd share with you guys to save somebody some trouble. To draw my stickers, I always use Procreate on my iPad Pro and my Apple Pencil. Okay, so once I finish drawing my stickers, I upload them into Photoshop so that I can do the header and the outline. A little trick that I have to get super clean outlines is to look at them in black so that you can see any little dots that you have left behind, so it just saves you a little bit of time and paper to avoid any extra mistakes. Then I usually go through and move my stickers around on the page a little bit to make sure they're spaced out and that they'll cut accurately. So then what I do is I duplicate only the sticker layer, I make a clipping mask on top, and I make the whole thing white because this layer is going to be attached to the backing. This might be a preference thing, but I personally like a little chubby white outline. <laughs> I think it looks cuter, plus if your cutting machine just cuts like slightly off, it won't include that little tiny bit of pink. So the next step is to hide the background layer and save only the sticker layer with the transparent background. Then do the same thing, just hide the sticker layer and save the background layer with the white outlines as a non-transparent file. Go ahead and insert both of your files into whatever software that you're using. I'm using the Cameo 4, so I'm using the Silhouette Design software. Upload those and align them as close as you can. You can zoom in really close to get it perfect. So once you have those layers perfectly lined up, you can group those together and I am able to fit two 4x6 sticker sheets on one page. Make sure your print settings are set for glossy sticker paper or whatever your printer's variation of that is for high quality and go ahead and print. So I'm sending it through the Cameo now on a kiss cut setting and you can see that it's cutting in the middle of the white line. And this is how they turned out. I really really like them. I like the shade of pink and I think they're good for Valentine's Day and even after Valentine's Day so I can keep them in the shop. So I hope that helped some of you guys and that you enjoyed watching. Thank you guys so much and have a good day.